The buildings that line our streets are struggling. People in northeast neighborhoods like Indian Mount are grappling with graffiti. Tomorrow morning, city officials will try to help. Lindsay Shively spoke with neighbors this afternoon who say it's not enough. Lindsay? Mark, sites like this make blood boil around here. Painted over, obviously, but the signs of graffiti still very, very obvious. We talked to people here who say tools just aren't enough. Kathy Munez dreads pulling in her own driveway. Every day when I come home, I'm wondering, is it my turn to be tagged? The Northeast resident of 25 years says her neighbor's garage door has to be constantly repainted because of graffiti. It's a nice neighborhood. There's a lot of good people, so why we have to put up with this? It just, you know, it's a shame. We need a lot more than just equipment. Katie Greer fights to keep the Indian Mound neighborhood clean, but says it's about much more than washing walls. Sometimes it can take four, six, eight, 12 hours of manpower time before we can even come out and try to address the graffiti. Often absent landlords can't be found to sign necessary waivers. Power washers can damage buildings. What's going to stop it from coming back? So the fight continues unarmed, needing volunteers to track down permission and plans to keep these buildings clean. So yes, in a matter of hours, city officials will show people how to use the chemicals and power washers, even how to rent them for free. But the plans that they want around here include better lighting, maybe painting murals because they aren't as much fun to put graffiti over as blank canvases like this one. Again, all that costs even more money. If you'd like to volunteer to do some of that tracking down and that hard behind the scenes labor, the Indian Mound Neighborhood Association would love to hear from you. We're live in Kansas City, Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News. And tomorrow's removal training session begins at 9 a.m. of the city's Neighborhood Prevention Division. That's at 4900 Swope Parkway. Neighborhood groups will also learn how to use chemicals and power washers to get rid of the graffiti.